The other day I read an article about the maximum screen time for an adult. I read it for you. What's a healthy amount of screen time for adults? Experts say they should limit screen time outside of work to less than 2 hours per day. Any time beyond that, which would typically spend on screens, should instead be spent participating in physical activity. Because of this, I'm going to do an experiment to try every method on the internet to stop being addicted to my smartphone. At the end of each method, I will give an honest rating based on my scale of words, good or excellent. I jump on the internet and do some research. I choose a method that makes sense to use for everyone. So I discard 93 methods that don't make sense until there are 7 left. So what I have to wait for? Let's find out. First, turn off notification. This method is very common in every article and even on the YouTube content. I just have to activate the do not disturb mode on my phone or I can disable notifications on each app. But this method is not really helpful for me. The distraction is still there, especially when I'm on my phone. Turn off notification didn't influence me to stop playing a phone. So I give it 3 out of 10. Let's move to the second method. Delete distracting apps is the most effective way to detox social media. With a specific time, like for a week, for a month, I just have to uninstall those apps that makes me get addicted and not useful as a productivity tool. But when I have nothing to do, I spontaneously download it again and started to staring at my phone 3 hours straight, and it's getting worse. Number 3. Limit app usage. If deleting app is not effective, then I will limit my app usage instead. Some phones out there have this feature. I'm using Samsung that can limit each app usage depending on what I want. For this, I will give the rating 7 out of 10. Method number 4 is the next level of the previous method. It's complex and manual. Use time management to use smartphone. I just have to write it on a sticky note and tell the specific time when I have to use my phone. For example, I can open my phone at 8.30 until 9 o'clock or 12 o'clock until 12.15 and so on. This method is hard, but after a while, I get used to it. I give it 8 out of 10. Put the phone out of sight. This is the best method I've ever tried. I don't have to uninstall apps, I don't have to follow the time management, I just put my phone out of my sight, like between books, in a drawer, or in a specific spot that is really hard to find. I put the phone in a box then I put it in the bag and throw it to somewhere. It's 9 out of 10. Until, for several hours, I forget where I put my phone last time. Let's go to the number 6. Monochrome mode. I guess this one is the most underrated. I tried it for several hours. There are no colors and it makes every content on social media look so dull. But also, this method confused me. I can't be doing one up from another. All of the colors are gray, black, and white. Then suddenly I just have to disable this feature when I have enough of time to try. I give it maybe 6.5 out of 10. Here comes to the last method. Find alternative activities that also makes me get addicted. Just like my phone did. Like reading, painting, and what I like right now is writing in a journal. By chance, I'm running monk mode for the next 6 months, and it changed me a lot in a different perspective, and makes me more productive. So, 
different activities, I'm giving 9 out of 10. From the whole method I try, the best one for everyone is nothing. Because every person has different need, at least you don't have to try all methods on the internet. You can just try method that I've tried and maybe you can combine several methods to make the best method just for you. Before this video ends, I will give you a motivation to make you try this thing right away. Your life is what happened between Wi-Fi signals. Live it fully, live it proudly, and live it without the constant need to document it or check for updates. You are enough, just as you are. And that's it. That's all for the day. Thanks for watching me until the end. I will see you in the next content. Assalamualaikum.